In every single generation of Pokemon, we get one new pseudo-legendary, with the exception of Generation 3, where we got two. If you don't know what a pseudo-legendary is, it's a Pokemon whose base stat total at level 50 is exactly 600. The following Pokemon are all the pseudo-legendaries that we have in order of Pokedex number. Dragonite, Tyranitar, Salamence, Metagross, Garchomp, Hydreigon, and Gudra. So I think it's fair to say that we'll be at least getting one new pseudo-legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon, so today, I'm going to be covering two potential new pseudo-legendary Pokemon that I would personally like to see make it in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. I got permission to use the artwork in this video from Smiley Fakemon and Kipine from DeviantArt, so check out their amazing DeviantArt pages. They're both filled with a ton of awesome Fakemon. And a final warning that this is all speculation. The two Pokemon that I'm going to show you in this video are not actual Pokemon. I just wanted to share these cool ideas with you, and get all your opinions on them. And speaking of opinions, be sure to tell me what kind of pseudo-legendary you would like to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon this November. Our first potential Sun and Moon pseudo-legendary comes from Kipine, and it's called Hydrament. The artist deems it as a legendary Pokemon with three typings, but I'm going to add a different outlook on this Pokemon. I can see this Pokemon with the Dragon and Normal typing. Now I know what you're thinking, normal type, but its heads are based off the three main elemental typings, fire, grass, and water. This is true, but I really wouldn't expect Game Freak to introduce triple typings anytime soon. But even then, normal type still doesn't make much sense. Well, to make some sense of it, I've come up with a new ability called Triple Team. This ability changes the normal typing to either fire, grass, or water when an attack of that typing is used. It would make sense if Hydramint only learned one move from each of the three typings, somewhat similarly to how Rotom forms only get one main move from each of its forms. Hydramint gives off a special attacking vibe too, so for this video, we're going to assume that it's primarily a special attacker. So when Hydramint uses Hydro Pump, it will be a Dragon Water type. When it uses Flamethrower, it will be a Dragon Fire type. And when it uses Energy Ball, it will become a Dragon and Grass type. Triple Team will basically be a more complex version of Greninja's hidden ability, Protein. Because he has such a diverse move pool, Hydramint will be a very versatile Pokemon, being able to pull off a super effective move against a ton of Pokemon. When it comes to its base stats on level 50, I'd give it 100 HP, 100 base attack, 85 defense, 130 base special attack, 85 special defense, and 100 base speed. Though the speed isn't too threatening, slap a choice scarf on this baby and you are ready to go. Since Kipine designed this to be a legend, there isn't any art for potential pre-evolutions, but it could very easily be similar to Hydreigon where it gets an extra head each time it evolves. So far, we only have two pseudo-legendaries that aren't dragons, that being Tyranitar and Metagross. Metagross, being a most recent non-dragon pseudo, was introduced in Generation 3, so I think we are way overdue for a non-dragon pseudo-legendary. That is why I bring you Kaseake, the Scalding Pokemon. This Pokemon has Water Fire typing, and as we saw from Volcanion, this typing is not only really cool, but it's also very viable in battle, with weaknesses only to Electric, Ground, and Rock, three fairly uncommon typings in the competitive scene. The artist, Smiley Fakemon, who runs one of my all-time favorite DeviantArt pages, designed Kasayake as a regular Stage 1 Pokemon that evolves from Chaman. Well, we're gonna switch up the stats to make Kasayake a menacing pseudo-legendary instead. And again, I know what you're thinking. A pseudo with only one evolution? We've never had this. Oh, okay? That doesn't mean we can't. Who knows? Game Freak always throws up something new in each game, and having a pseudo with only one evolution is just as realistic as one with two. Moving on, I'd like to see Chaman and Kasayake be a somewhat similar situation to Magikarp and Gyarados. Chaman will be a solo water type that will only get a few viable moves such as Takedown, Surf, and maybe Waterfall. And you really have to earn your Kasayake by training up a useless Pokemon like Chaman to level 45, where it will finally evolve into Kasayake and gain the fire typing. Upon evolving, it will learn new moves right away such as Fire Punch, Sword Stance, and of course, Scald. When it comes to its base stats, I'd like to see 75 in HP, 110 in Attack, 95 in Defense, 120 in Special Attack, 68 in Special Defense, and a whopping 132 in Speed. This Pokemon really seems like it would be a fast, mixed attacker. 
who's kind of lacking on the defensive side of things. However, this Pokemon will hardly need its defenses when it's one-hit KOing Pokemon left and right with its massive attacks and speed stats. For its ability, we don't want to make anything too overpowered, so I decided Flame Body would be a perfect fit. Maybe if your opponent takes you down with a contact move, your death won't be in vain and you'll get that small chance to burn. So tell me in the comments guys, would you like to see Hydroman and Kasayake, or both this November? Once again, a huge shout out to Kipine and Smiley Fakemon for allowing me to use their art in this video. Check out their DeviantArt pages in the description below. Also, we're nearing 5,000 subscribers, so if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content, such as my interactive series Poke Quiz, where I ask my viewers a question and show off the best comments in the next episode, followed by a brand new question. Please feel free to hydro cannon that like button, as it helps out a ton, and I'll see you guys in the next video.